वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विथ अवर लास्ट टॉपिक दैट इज मैनेजमेंट प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट स्कोप एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट थिंग्स व्हिच आर इन्वॉल्व इन प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू सी फ्रॉम लास्ट टाइम दैट वी हैव सीन इज डिफरेंट स्कोप ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट बॉडी ऑफ नॉलेज पी एम बी ओ के इन विच वी हैव सीन हाउ वी मैनेज द स्कोप हाउ वी मैनेज द टाइम हाउ वी मैनेज द कॉस्ट नाउ वी आर going to see this remaining point that how we are managing the quality how we are managing the procurement how we are managing the hr human resources how we are managing the communication in overall execution of project so if you have any doubt or if you want to communicate with me on anything you can communicate with me on the chat box okay so whatever your message will be i will be able to see that and give you an answer for it so we are starting with the today's session by the management of quality now when we talk about the quality we have seen in the earlier part that the customer or the client look for the cost time and quality so how we are going to manage the quality that is what we are going to see in the today's first slide whenever we talk about the project it is not same it is not the same activity what we do in our routine business or routine work for that particular organization or the company the project is something which is completely different set of activities and during those activities we have to maintain the quality of the work quality of the output that we are receiving and because of which the overall project will get completed on time and it will be providing the highest value now moving with this we have to set certain procedures which should be followed and the team should be fit for the purpose and whenever we are setting this procedures and setting this procedures we will be understanding that the quality management process which should have that certain quality targets not only the work related targets but also quality targets and those targets should be agreed with the customer for example when we are getting the things done for the project there are chances that we may not get 100% accuracy but yes we can go for for 99.9% of accuracy so that 0.1% of uh, difference is acceptable by the customers now fundamental objective of the quality management plan is to do the things which are right in the first time to prevent that from going wrong in the first place and to continuously improve the process for example if one nut bolt or a one screw is not tightened for one particular vehicle manufacturing process and that one small mistake is there and during the accident if we found that the main reason for accident was that particular one screw it means one small negligence in the quality is going to affect the many fold after certain time so now there are seven quality management principles that a project manager should know and it should be using these particular quality management systems for that project for example customer focus then leadership then engagement of people process approach now what do you mean by process approach if i ask you to make a tea if i ask you to make a idli do you know that every one of you will make a tea or a idli with a different taste different style different sizes and different variety but if i give you a procedure take this much ingredients take of take this ingredient of this much quantity do this for a certain number of temperature do this at certain number of temperature of your pan or a whatever container you have that time everyone will try to get at least near to the same quality of the product that is called as a process approach for example if you go to any fast food chain like a mcdonald or kfc or starbucks you will get a similar product because they are process driven so their process is defined their process is defined in such a way that every outlet has their trained employees and they are only making the thing as per the process given to them similarly next is improvement so if any improvement comes towards the process that we will look for maintaining the quality during the improvement of that particular project activity so there are certain things which we should understand 
and it will be giving you the management of quality in terms of handling the project getting the things done and then la second last one is the evidence based decision making now what do you mean by this evidence based decision making that whenever we found that there is a gap between the output and the particular requirement for example certain standards to be met and we found that this is not happening during that time if we want to change certain things so that we can get the desired output during that time how this evidence based decision making plays a role that also comes under the management of quality and last one is a relationship management because whenever there is a project we are working for that project for a certain number of time period and after that the project is completed and it will be the success of all that particular team and during that when we need to look for a quality management of quality that relationship management is also plays a important role so these all quality related management principles which we are using for maintaining the quality management in that particular project so these are the different aspects of our project management scope now going to the next point that is procurement management of procurement in this we are going to understand that how for a big company or a for a organization organization how this procurement plays an important role so if i want to construct certain things or if i want to get some things repaired i need to purchase the raw material i have to invest in the material along with the manpower and tools so this particular management of procurement this department we can say or this set of activities will say that it is a strategic approach for managing and optimizing the organization no spend it involves acquiring the quality goods and services from prefer vendors within the stipulated budget on or before the deadline so it is not like a last minute rush to go and purchase the things which we required for our project so it is well planned that we have all the budget we have all the inventory and we have all the materials ready in our store so that whenever any project requires certain uh, material or certain tool then we can be in a position to provide them that raw material or the tools which will be giving the quality goods quality supplies but at very nominal charges because when you go to a retail shop to purchase something they will ask you for the more number of uh, say charges or we can say they will ask for the amount which is related to the retail price which is more than say wholesale price and for that purpose we are looking for a strong procurement department which will be working for obtaining the goods supplies and services and there should not be any haphazard manner panicness during the project that tomorrow we need to paint one particular location and we don't have brushes with us this situation should not arise and that care is being taken by the procurement department if your procurement department is efficient in the project they will be giving you the financial benefit also also it will give you the benefit for the manpower so that manpower can be utilized on their specific application for example when we are using the manpower for for painting purpose painting the wall or painting the container or painting the devices that time that manpower or that worker should be doing his work which is only related to the painting not other than that and when we are successful in that the amount of work done by that worker in this particular efficient condition will be more than the person is working continuously but not his own expert area work and because of which we will be having some problem if we don't do that so that's the reason why procurement is playing an important role similarly an effective procurement process involves in depth understanding of requirement by all the business units so now all the business units and their requirement should be understood by the procurement department similarly there are right supplier for that requirement for example we need certain amount of material for our project and we got a supplier who is not having any experience of delivering that much quantity of material before then 
we will not be able to receive the materials from them in that quantity during our project work and that is the reason why we are focusing on efficient project manager now periodically evaluating the supplier performance negotiating contract and that can provide the highest value at a minimum cost these all things we need to do because whenever we are getting this particular material for our project it should also be involved with the cost the cost should be minimum without compromising the quality or the value of that material and hence if the project manager has a person along with him who is acting as a procurement manager then he should be able to do the estimation of cost parameters he should be in a position to make a estimate and establish the cost parameters which are related for the budget for that particular purchase of that particular project he should be in a position to create and maintain the good relationship with the vendors and suppliers so that they can give you the material sometimes on credit sometimes of extra quality sometimes uh, of extra quantity if needed without intimation because these vendors and suppliers do not keep the stock with their premises some people definitely do some are not and because of that the supplier should be of good relation that he should be able to deliver the material as soon as and when it is needed so our project will not get delayed okay next is make professional decision in the fast pace environment sometimes there are sale of particular material from particular supplier or a manufacturer factorer because he don't want to spend money on inventory storage so he gives some discount for example there is a material costing 5 crore rupees and to keep that 5 crore rupees material into a godown is costing 10 lakh rupees per month and the another security cost is near about 5 lakh rupees for maintaining that security staff per month so the owner has observed by giving some discount and if i am able to get rid of this material from my then it will be an good opportunity for reducing my uh, say 1.5 crore of yearly expense if i am putting the money on that storage and security expenses so this is the decisions which we call it as a fast pace decision where we can see that there are benefit which is taken by the quick decision or good decision we can say then last and very important for which we as an engineer sometimes fail to do or rather we can say we feel it is boring task to maintain the record of purchase Purchase pricing and other important data of delivery, delivery date, delivery quantity, delivery chalan, uh, then uh, invoice, invoice date, uh, payment date, payment amount, payment status, tax related information. These all information we need to keep a record, and these all are the duties of this procurement manager. So if you are having a procurement manager who is taking care of all these things, your project is going to be success. Okay. So moving ahead with this, next is that manpower is. almost important in any successful execution of the project so project human resource management involves the organizing and managing the project team there are certain number of people in every project which are related with the management team core management team then we have the team which is related with the getting the work done and there are certain people who are working as a supervisor or supervisory team so all these people who are working who are supervising who are engineering so these all people should work together in a synergy and this particular team of people is generally made up of specific skill and responsibilities so everyone has different skills and different responsibilities no one is we can say very much important no one is say least important okay so that communication with the team is done by the hr department it is essentially includes the human resource planning that how many the human resource planning is related with how many number of people we require to get the work done acquiring this particular team members and knowing that we need to spend some amount spend some time on improve improving the quality of these team members also we need to manage this particular team this all work 
is done by the HR department. So we can say the human resources in project management is focusing on project team recruitment, organization and management of that particular HR team until the end of the project. So it is not a permanent recruitment or permanent employee arrangement, but it is based on the project. So once the project is finished, you can have different team now. Now the role of that particular HR department is core competencies of that people and team building and motivation. So this is a secondary thing which this HR people need to do. HR plays a role in developing, reinforcing and changing the culture of an organization because the people are coming from different sources, different region and different background. So it helps them for understanding the new project cultural values, their ethics we can say and this particular HR manager or HR management team is basically helping them to get the best team working for our project. I hope till now everyone is understanding this concept. We may feel that this is a very theoretical aspect but yes we need to go through this and we need to write some answers about it. Also the payment of the employees, payment of the team, performance management of the team, training and development of the team, recruiting and onboarding of the team. These all factors are associated with the human resource team, human resource manager. Now, when there are essential elements of the business which are related to that operation, we are going to understand that HR may go for <coughs> sort analysis <coughs> or having the different project management tools for the effective team. Moving ahead with this, now as a HR, human resources, which is one of the important tasks in a project management, they should provide a security to employees. <coughs> Now, this security is not only related with the just uh, say safety and security. It is related with the job security. It is related with the <coughs> security of their work. And then it is also related with the security regarding that project. Then we have is a selective hiring. It is not always necessary to hire all the people or the people who have their <coughs> influence. That time we should have this right people at right place and when we have that our team is going to <coughs> get <coughs> a good result in terms of handling the challenges handling the tasks which are given to that particular team then hr should also go for training and developing the teams in such a way that teams should be self-managed and effectiveness of those teams should be important and for that reason the HR is going to practice that team should be effective and self-managed. There should be an internal leadership which is there, which is going to help that particular team to grow. Then, whenever there are comparison, comparison or a healthy comparison leads to the more effectiveness. Now, this particular <coughs> comparison is going to give an idea of <coughs> whether you have done proper HR practices, whether you have done with the proper quality check, whether you are in the procurement. So, in between these different teams, there should be a healthy comparison and competitiveness. All the people who are working in an organization are not having the skill set which is relevant, which is required at that particular moment. And for that purpose, we want the training of these relevant skills for our employees and that is taken by the HR professional. Then creating a flat and egalitarian organization, it means whenever there is a different type of organizations like uh, uh, we have one <coughs> army uh, kind of thing, Matlab, army has a chief in command as a leader and everyone follows their order. In social activities like uh, society plays and role <coughs> that people should give command or people should decide what they want to do. And when we talk about the project, it is <coughs> related to it is related to handling the work, getting the things done, and everyone should feel that they are equally responsible. And that is what we call it as a flat organization. Or everyone is at the same level, we can say. Not related with just the money or a compensation they get, but it is related with the getting the things done for our project. Last one is very important, making information easily accessible to those who need it. Sometimes people want some information about 
about a person who is very efficient in say welding operation and only hr person know who is a best welder of that team no project manager needs the welder and they want that information and if this information is available the best quality welding can be done for that particular project's current requirement and they will be getting the very good person who is going to get the things done now when we have easy access to this information from the hr department we will be getting the project successful i hope everyone come to know various things about the project management scope moving ahead with this just type yes in the chat box if you are listening till now okay now management of communication within the project organization whenever there is a project related communication need to be done we have to follow certain procedures so that we can understand whether the right message is being sent to the people whether that message is received by the people or not whether that is understood by the people or not and these all things plays a very important role now when we talk about the project management communication plan that is related with the very much detailed and a format or a structured based communication where sometimes we need to maintain it as a record the communication needs to be maintained for the sake of record <coughs> so that if any mishap happen there should be a written or a <coughs> evidential based reasons which will be giving as a example of this communication okay so now when we talk about this effective communication in the project there are certain communication plan to be developed in which there are certain steps for example list of the project communication needs then defining the purpose of that communication for example we have a delivery challan or the requisite requisition of the material notes i hope this point is coming in a uh, relation with the store or material handling but generally in the project there is so much of project material handling happening and because of which we need to maintain the record and that communication also plays an important role then choose a communication method so this communication method is generally a written format or a email nowadays or whether it is related through a app there are now apps which are related with the project management these apps are helping <coughs> then having <coughs> a sequence sequence of communication and its importance for that particular communication now sometimes there are certain methods or we can say that communication is giving an idea about what is the role of that particular communication owner like who is starting the communication and then the stakeholders and the sequence so these all three comes in accordance with the project management's communication plan that you need to create for example if certain work is being done <coughs> then who are those people who we need to inform <laughs> after the work is done this many people should be contacted and tell them that this work is done now if the work is not done yet how many different people are there that we should need to inform that this work is not yet done you don't go for the next upcoming work on that site or on that project uh, element so i hope this point is clear to you just type yes in the chat box so that i can understand this that you have done this okay now when we talk about this management of risk it is related with the term called as a possibility or a chance or a potential the risk is not when we talk about it is risky it is causing damage not like that risk is sometime we will see it is a positive opportunity or a negative threat or in simple words we say that if you are not sure that this is going to happen in this way only then that is a risk so what is a <coughs> plan is a one step for mitigating this risk that how to manage is the risk how we are minimizing the risk of the project now what do you mean by risk of the project that i have to complete that project within the stipulated time but there is a risk now the risk is that whether i am going to complete that project or not is a risk whether there is a chance that project may not get completed on time on deadline so that is what moving ahead with this first step is planning the process will start with the planning for risk management now what are the risk management activities what are the responsibilities of associated people who are related with the risk management activities budget allocation for risk management timing for activities and communication and reporting for the risk management activities for example we have a risk related with the project of say explosion or a fire now there is a risk of fire in a 
the project then what will be your planning to avoid that fire what will be the activities you will do if there is a fire condition now who will be associated with us like fire marshals or someone who will take care of this fire hazard now do we have any budget for using the fire extinguishers or do we have any budget for paying for the insurance for <coughs> the fire hazard then when this particular fire hazard can be eliminated or the people will come to know that we can extinguish the fire or they are being trained for that what will be the timing whether it will be a monthly activity of empowering people or uh, <coughs> it is a activity of uh, quarterly activity or a six month activity now then next is identify identify the different risks which are involved in the project make a list then make a characteristics for example if person is not maintaining the fire safe behavior safe fire behavior it means he is not throwing garbage here and there he is not putting the flammable materials here and there he is not throwing the uh, ignition energy or jalti hui koi cheez ko wo idhar udhar nahi fek raha hai ye sab hum kya karte hain identify karte hain aur jaise hi hum ye identify karenge to hame pata chalega ki ye particular risk hai ye jo particular activity hai usme itna risk involved hai aur wo project ko hamare rok sakta then we have analyze and prioritize that certain risk behavior we cannot change we cannot adder but that behavior that risk can be analyzed and and we can decide that yes this risk can be mitigated and that's how we come to the fourth step that is strategize strategizing about the risk which is very easy to understand and giving an risk response to the threat what wrong can happen to the project and also determining the risk response for the opportunity that what good can happen if we are able to avoid that hazard or avoid that fire so when we do that strategic planning and strategizing for our risk management approach we will be going to get our project successful by managing the risk sometimes we have prediction say for example giving an example of a stock market that stock market will give you the positive results only if you have this thought process and you are not doing the study you may lose your capital or you may lose your money but what are the chances to that if the risk management study is being done whether this company will perform better in this quarter or next quarter or next year but still it is not having that much of pricing uh, and it can be a good bet against the stock and if something is done without the risk management approach then there will be a definitely heavy loss but if it is a approach along with the <coughs> risk management it can be turned out as a profit making activity then next step is monitor and control for that particular identified risk identified risk are being monitored and they have controlled so that there should not be any mishap which could happen in future and that is the reason why this monitoring and controlling of the risk is being done all identified risk can be monitored always whether there is an uh, you must have seen on the airport there is a entry counters which will check you thoroughly on arrivals as well as on departure now this is not that everyone or every one of the airport person is uh, having a risk but we cannot let everyone be a sufferer because of that one risk if someone comes and do a hijacking or if someone do some terrorist activity so every person is being going through the security check and that is called as a risk management okay so similarly for your own project whether the material which we received is pure or not <laughs> whether it is a uh, good quality material or not quality check so that also comes under the risk management so i hope this point is clear to you all going ahead with this last one last point is a management of integration integrated planning which is a strategic strategic decision making so that we are providing a comprehensive view comprehensive view of resources and commitment and then financial and capital resources now it is all all the time it is important that projects should coordinate with the different task and resources with the stakeholders and other project elements and if it is happening then we can say project is in good hand also project activities to be completed without any confusion and after completing the task 
it should be officially closed and resources can be used for the next project activity we should not be be there for a longer time you know, once the project is done we should get over it we should go to the next project like that and when we talk about this particular functions that coordinating and they are working very quickly as a project manager we need to have the good forward planning and clear role and responsibility along with the coordinated schedule so we know what we need to do and what is going to happen and it should be communicated with the everyone so being a project manager you need to go through the effective handling of all the activities so that you can manage that particular project effectively and <clears throat> certain activities you need to do as a project manager the first part is activity and resources planning what need to be done and who is going to do that this planning need to be done second is organizing and motivating a project team build a team who has a capacity to do the work which you have listed and then organize them and motivate them to get the things done effectively <laughs> controlling the time management because whenever you are a project manager you need to take a control of your time time should not have control of you you should have control on the time i hope this point is clear to you then next is a cost estimating and developing the budget this is a very important role of project manager that he should know that my project will cost me this much amount of money for this many tasks this is a priority task this is a non priority task and then he should be in a position to do that next is analyzing uh, sorry next is ensuring the customer satisfaction so whenever any project is being done it is for some project customers and that customer should be satisfied with whatever the scope he has mentioned the amount of work which is being done and the quality of work which is done now there are endless possibilities that customer may not be satisfied all the time but as a project manager you need to ensure that he will be saying at least no problem in the project execution if he is a person who is finding problem in everything <coughs> then there will be a challenge for that project manager to convince that customer and let him understand what are the different limitations of the project next is analyzing and managing the project risk which is the one of the most important role of a project manager if he know what is the risk involved in the project he should be in a position to handle that effectively then when project manager is monitoring the progress of the project he is coming in a conclusion that yes my project is going to happen effectively and they are monitoring the progress as their roles and responsibility then only it is possible otherwise if it is going on project is going on chal chal raha hai chalne do agar aisa attitude raha to monitoring of the progress will be a difficult task also certain number of reports to be generated and documentation to be preserved for the project manager it is one of the important task because he is a whole and soul decision maker for that project having the full responsibility and if everything goes well no one will come to, to give you a genuine compliments or genuine congratulations but if any bad thing happen everyone come to you for an explanation that why this happen why this bad thing happen and that time you need to have your documentation clear see this is the thing and that is the reason and this is what all it is moving ahead with this being a effective project manager what should be the qualities of that person because whenever a project manager comes on site or a comes on a board he brings so much of responsibility on his shoulder so he should have effective communication skills he should have a strong leadership skills where he can be an example of a extraordinary leader for his team and also for the client and the higher management they should be looking at him that this person is going to get the things done for us then as a good project manager he should be a good decision maker too he should take a decision on a very effective way logical way and profitable way that he should take a quick and good decisions also he should have technical expertise related with the project so that no one will come and they will give some wrong advice or they will uh, give them the wrong material or the wrong uh, purchases being made now last one it is one of the important that last three points are very important that he should be having the shared vision and he should inspire to the team that they should follow the same vision 
for their future or for this particular project he should also have the team building skills where he should be in a position to get the work done from the team and whatever happens he should cool under the pressure he should not be giving some uh, angry responses to the team either team either customer or the people who are working either external agencies he should not lose his temper he should be cool and he should be knowing what is the correct thing and what is the wrong thing he should have the capacity to get the correct things done but without getting angry without losing the temper so these are the qualities of the project manager now this is very important that project always being evaluated project always being evaluated for different categories and different styles for example that project management is having certain goals and certain milestones to be completed during that time we need to do certain kind of evaluations like for project objectives project development projects effectiveness efficiency impact and sustainability so what are those evaluations are let's see first one is formative evaluation whether the project is being started properly or not how it is working formal formal related things then process evaluation whether the project work is being done according to the different processes yeah, sops we call it as if you know the full form of sop just type it in the chat box then outcome evaluation then economic or cost related evaluation whether the activities which are done in the in particular uh, project whether they are effective or not whether it is cost effective or not yes you can type the answer in the chat box about sop sop ka full form kya hai zara chat box mein dal then summative summative evaluation and the last one is goal based generally people are being judge you can say or being uh, judging you always as per the goal based evaluation people will evaluate the project as per the goal aapne khela kaise वो कोई देखेगा नहीं आप जीते क्या वो खेल ये लोग देखेंगे उसको क्या बोलते हैं गोल बेस्ड इवेल्युएशन बट इसके अलावा भी जितने इवेल्युएशन है वो हमने ऊपर देखे हैं नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट कोई भी काम करने के लिए अगर हम प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट के कंसेप्ट को यूज करते हैं तो हमें ये पता चलता है की प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट होने की वजह से वी हैव क्लियर ऑर्गेनाइज प्लान विच विल इम्प्रूव द टीम कोलेबोरेशन टीम कोलेबोरेशन इम्प्रूव हो गया तो डेफिनेटली आपका जो वर्किंग है आपका जो प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीशन है वो सक्सेसफुली होगा एंड अगर गोल्स है आपके टीम को इंप्रूव करने के लिए टीम के इफेक्टिवनेस को इंप्रूव करने के लिए तो वो आपके प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट के थ्रू ही आपको मिलेगा कम्युनिकेशन प्लान होने की वजह से प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट के अंदर आपके टीम को आप अलाइंड एंड फोकस्ड रख सकते हो बिकॉज ऑफ विच यू विल बी इन अ पोजिशन टू गेट द थिंग्स डन फ्रॉम यूर टीम very effectively then we have project management tools help to increase the efficiency now increasing efficiency of a project manager is one of the important thing and which is done by this project management technique so this is what we are going to do with our project with the systematic approach system approach there are two approach one is like a person or a person approach which is like a one person is handling all the things second is the people who are are associated with this they are related with the particular uh, we can say uh, we can say they are not giving a importance for that particular we can say system based approach because system approach is giving the two components like elements and process so elements are measurable things and the processes are defined things so it will give you a systematic approach for the project manager so for this we are stopping here today's lecture and we'll meet uh, in the next lecture with the third chapter which is related with the idea generation and initialization so we'll stop here for today thank you everyone if you have any feedback question type it in the chat box we are going to end today's meeting here